It's Abyss here, and it is time for another edition of Law and Order. We are on episode two, and it's getting pretty good so far. We got like a dude's dead. We got to figure out what the hell's going on. So let's just jump into it. Hopefully, the chickens didn't kill him. Hopefully, the chick. Hopefully, it saved. It did. I think. Writing in your diary? It's not a diary. It's a journal. What kind of journal? None of your business. Did you call Cora's cluckers? Yeah, she remembers Neil Jensen. Said he never brought her any roosters. She's sure? Sounds sure. Matter of fact, she was away at the state fair on the day Jensen supposedly brought the bird in. So he lied to the little woman, huh? Our victim had a questionable character. Imagine you're a husband, and not the most responsible husband in the world. That's quite an imaginative leap. Your wife gives you a live rooster and tells you to take it by public transportation all the way to New Jersey to get rid of it. What do you do? You sure as hell don't take it all the way to Jersey. I dump it in the closest spot I can find and go catch a ball game. Right. And there's only so many places you can take a live chicken if you're too squeamish to kill it. Huang's Live Poultry, 1521 Barry, just six blocks from the Jensen house. Yeah, let's check them out. Huh. Farm animals in the middle of Brooklyn. <laughs> I've lived in this city my whole life and it never ceases to surprise me. Oh, we serve everyone here. We've got kosher slaughter for our Jewish clients, halal for the Muslims. And if I'm in the mood for pork chops? For well, that, we've got a Dominican butcher. He covers all bases. Mind if we ask you a few questions? Okay, but be quick. The dinner rush is going to start any minute. Okay. I'm gonna make a little guess right now, or a prediction. It's probably not right. But what if this dude took that rooster and said, You know what? There's some cockfights going on tonight at the underground club. And I'm just gonna take this rooster in and see if I can make some money. So what if he goes to this club, right? And he's got the rooster with him. He's like, it's time to make some money because my wife cut my allowance out. And she's the breadwinner of the family, as you can obviously tell. So I'm going to make my own money so I can get out of the situation I'm in. So he's in this underground club. You know, they got music banging like, bum, 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 bum. We fighting cocks tonight, bum, bum, you know. So there they are. They're playing. The cock fights, and his match is coming up. He stares his opponent in his face and says, My cock is being your cock, and you're going to pay me the money. You know, that's what he's saying. So the fight goes on, and the dude wins. He's like, Woo, yeah, this rooster's awesome. And the guy that he was up against was like the big boss man. He's like, This is my club. I ain't going to stand for this. So he picked the rooster up, attacked the dude with the rooster, you know, like cut the rooster's head off or something, and then attacked him. Bah, 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 you know? And he said, you gonna give me my money back. You know, he's beating him in the face. And he throws him out in the street. And then he crawls home. And boom. Look at that. Look at that. What? That is my prediction. It's probably not right because we're here at the slaughterhouse. But you never know. That's just my prediction. <laughs> now, let's talk about ID. This guy ever come in here? No. Look again. Mr. Huang, I thought you said you serve everyone here. How can you be so sure you haven't served him? Yeah, what I mean is, everybody but wasps. His type usually like that meat wrapped in plastic. Uh-huh, so you say you don't know the guy. Okay, see, my, my theory still stands. How many employees you got? Six. Three in front, three in back. You look into their backgrounds before you hire them? They're all citizens, detective. <laughs> you sure about that? Listen, I serve immigrant customers, so I hire immigrant workers. Good workers. Just because a guy wasn't born in this country, does that make him a murder suspect? That sounds like racial profiling to me. Uh, oh, anything odd about his saying? Yeah, he just said it. Yeah, dude. I'm probably wrong, but yeah. Yeah! Woo woo! He's, he just said immigrants. And plus, he was pretty... He was pretty defensive there. He mentioned... Oh, that is true. We never said nothing about murder. And he did mention a murder suspect, so that's obviously the answer, because we never said Curtis was murdered. You know, he just assuming. I don't believe I said this was a murder investigation. Well, what else would it be? It could be anything. I could be here just picking up a chicken. I'm saying, hey, dude, I want some pork chops for my guy, me, my partner. We're out here on the lunch. But you know, he just assumed murder. 
you, you just never know why people walk into places. You know, you don't see me walking to Walmart, look walking up to one of the, uh, you know, receptionists and be like, hey, 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 hey. We're here for a murder investigation. You killed him, didn't you? You killed him. He came in here trying to return the DVD, and you said, we don't allow that. So you freaking jump over there and stab him to death with your working pen, right? So you don't assume stuff like that. You slaughter your animals here on the premises? Sure, naturally. Look, my client wants to come in, select an animal, and take home the meat the same afternoon. Does your client generally want to watch the slaughter? No, that's against policy. Our abattoir's a separate space in back. Past the plastic curtain. Correct. Is it important to look in the arbor? Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm going to say yes, but probably not. Oh, maybe, maybe I am right. Good job, Gut. You win. If Hong doesn't want to see... Th he didn't say nothing about that, I don't think. And <laughs> Arbiter is likely a place for a knife fight. And Arbiter is a fun place to spend a Saturday afternoon. And no. And Arbiter is likely a place to get a sample, you know, a sample of avian blood. You know, we could have got a sample of the blood and see there. That's true. I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. We're trying to find see if that blood matches, you know. Oh, man, I got four out of five so far. Uh, we're going to expect it. Which we're, wait, let me make sure this man has a license first. They actually gave you a license to run a slaughterhouse in the city. It's not against code? Of course I've got a license. I've been running this establishment for over 25 years, buddy. Check with the city if you don't believe me. My partner doesn't know much about slaughter, except the human-on-human -human variety. Hey, man, I was just making sure we're not in uh, an illegal place, okay? You got to be safe, you know? We'd like to take a look inside your abattoir, if you don't mind. Out of the question. We're investigating a serious crime, Mr. Huang. And I'm running a business. I can't let you back there. It would violate health regulations. We won't tell the inspector. Honest. The answer is no. Not without a warrant. <laughs> Enter, uh, let's break code. I mean, I could, but then I might get my ass beat by the uh, big man in charge. I can't. I gotta hit no. I can't. I can't go in there. Yeah, I can't. I ain't got a warrant. I'm gonna fucking be breaking laws and shit. It's important for the. No, it's got no shit to do with it. Unless you get a warrant first. Yeah, any evidence you find can. will be indemissible in court. That is the truth. Hey, Mr. Wang. Uh, one moment, please. That guy looks shady. What are the cops doing here? I think he's a killer. Check out the Ooh. Rolex. Sorry for the interruption. One of my butchers has a problem at home. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Huang, could I ask you where you got that watch? Uh, this? It's just a knockoff. I got it from a guy on Fifth Avenue. Uh, mind if I take a closer look? Now look here. Enough with the suspicious questions. I'm an American citizen and I got my rights. Sounds like a no. That motherfucker, he, he killed him. Alright. That's the other dude's Rolox. That's Curtis's Rolox. He killed him. Come on, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. You wait. Time's coming. Guns loaded. You're gonna be in court, son. I know you did it. You were that shady dude. You hired him to do it. So that's it for that one. Let's go to the next one. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to go. Fired up, baby. We gotta get this man. This guy's hiding something. And you're basing that on... He's wearing a Rolex. The victim's wife told us he was missing a Rolex, one he never took off. So wearing a Rolex is now illegal. He refused to let us check out the back room in his meat market. Oh, wait, I'm Jensen had avian blood on him. That room's the best spot in the neighborhood to find dead birds. There's something back there he doesn't want us to see. Spare me. As it stands right now, there isn't enough evidence to suggest probable cause. Give me reason to believe that there was something worse than slaughter going on in that room, or you don't get a warrant. And no arrest unless you've got something physical to tie this guy to the victim. Damn it, Carmichael. Nina Try Haversham, get my shit done. 32, junior partner at McCormick and Preston. Wait a minute. Nina Haversham? She was one of the suspects in the preppy jogger case. So? Van Buren took us off that one. Yeah, but remember that little speech he gave back in February? All detectives are encouraged to ask about crimes they're not currently investigating. It's all about uh, spreading the widest possible net. Well, the case may be closed for now, but the net's still open. 
Hey, well, happy fishing, partner. Hey, you know that meat market sells cow skulls? Now, I know that definitely isn't on your diet. Look what it says in the logs. Three weeks ago Tuesday, we got a late night complaint about noise coming from the meat market. How late at night? 1.45 a.m. Then, two weeks ago, also on Tuesday, the same noise complaint. Let me guess. Same thing happened last Tuesday. About 15 minutes before Neil Jensen was wounded. What do you think? I think we've got our warrant. Oh shit. The dude's name's Neil, not Curtis. I'm, I'm a dummy. All right then. <laughs> but at least let me watch. I'm sorry, it's against policy. That's right. It's against policy. Get okay, your ass well, out of we here. found our bird blood. I'm still not sure what else we're looking for. Anything that'll tell us what was going on after hours Tuesday night, and whether Neil Jensen was in on it. Time to get some hunting on. I don't know why I thought the dude's name was Neil. Curtis is obviously the dude I'm playing as. Damn, but we finally got our warrant. There's some shit going on in here. Uh. You should like to mind if I lean. To consult your search screen, it contains hints on what you need to find. Oh my gosh! We gonna be searching today, boys. Look at all that. Is that a foot? Alright, so we're looking for a knife. Can I scroll? Oh. 14! Oh, I got 14 clicks. Okay, that's not as much. Uh, possible murder weapon. Gambling depths. Oh, man. That dude does have a gambling problem. All right, so my theory is thrown out the window. He probably came here. Okay, let's look around. I think a gambling net to probably be like over here, right? Oh, whoa, 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 I forgot. I got to make circles and stuff. <clears throat> see what I'm after again. There's a book right here. Let me go over here real quick. Let's start from left to right. Uh, possible burner weapons. Is that a meat cleaver? Maybe. That's a saw. That's a saw. That's the meat cleaver. That's a knife. Bloody blanket. Okay, and that's the gambling that book. Okay, so that could be this, but I'm not sure. Wait, what is this? This looks like it's pretty gambling right there. Yeah. I don't know what I found, but what was it? It ain't gonna tell me. That's great. Maybe it wasn't nothing. I don't know. They got some tape. It's not a murder weapon. That's the room, it looks like. Could be any type of. It could be a bomb. Got some duct tape. What is that? That could be gambling tips, too, though. Oh, now, baby. Cooking. What's that? A ledger, and I got a feeling these ain't sales of ground round in here. They look like bets. <whistles> Looks like NJ owes a bundle to EH. EH. Edward Wang. Aha! Yes! Was it NJ? That'd be, Nin jo that'd be Neil Johnson, right? So he did owe money. But what if it was, you know, Underground Rooster Club, Fighting Club? Uh, pop oh, there's a the bloody blanket. Look at that right there. Now, if you know they're going oh, to get a, a hell of a lot of blood, could have come from a pig or something, I guess. But why would you wrap a pig in a blanket? I mean, a real pig in a real blanket. Let's take it back to forensics. Like, my question is, if you you just talk to the FBI or whatever these guys are, and uh, they leave and say, "Well, I guess we're gonna go get a warrant, son of a gun." Wouldn't you think you would clean up as much you can? There's some blood right there. Before they show up, I mean, it's just a I think this could be our murder weapon. I don't think so. Really? I don't know. It could. Well, there's no blood on it. You never know, though. Actually, probably from the wounds on the guy, it's probably impossible. You, you think probably it would have had a huge wound for that. There's a saw. This could do a guy in. Sure, but not our guy. How the hell do you know? You're just like, nah, not our guy. This shit ain't doing it. Ain't no way. Technically, that's the knife that I'm looking for. It doesn't count. Are you fucking serious? It's up there. Oh my god, look at all this shit. That's probably more, because it's got something on it. Van Buren said it was a short, curved blade. Oh. Well, because <laughs> of Van Buren, huh? What else I need? That's just hidden shit. Oh, blood and a curved blade. Okay. A curved blade. Come on now. It looks just like. Oh wait, I don't. I ain't got a picture. That's right. Try to find a curve. Can I go further this way? No. Curved blade. I don't think I've seen a curved blade. There ain't none up there. That one's technically kind of curved. See if that counts. No. It was kind of curved. There's some blood. But I'm looking for a source of avian blood. That would be rooster blood, right? Or 
chicken. Wait, what am I looking for? Source of avian blood and the curved blade. Let's go back to the left side again. I don't think there's a curved blade over here. Nope. Avian blood or curved blade. I mean, there's a lot of blood in here. There's some blood on here. That's not it. I've only got four point shots. There's a whole bunch of blood down here. At least that looks like blood. Could be grease. What the hell is that? I didn't even finish that circle. It looks finished to me. Okay. I'm fucked. Okay. I'm telling you, dude. This right here, obviously. Maybe if I make a smaller circle. Okay, that's too small. Okay. Well. It technically was hidden, you know. I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, last circle. I said last circle. Whoa! Hey, look at this. I got so lucky. Short curved blade. What do you want to bet it's a match for the murder weapon? Wonder what it is. Doesn't seem like anything a butcher would use. Huh. Oh, I'm not negative one now. I didn't know you can check under stuff. How'd I, how'd I, how'd I move that? That was cool. Great, I'm at negative one. I didn't know you can move stuff. Like, look, can I? No, I didn't do it. I don't. Avian blood. Dude, I'm fucked. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to look. Can I open this box? Can I, can I move any of this stuff? No. Oh, man, I made a two. Did you see that? I made... Okay, guys. We'll go back over here. Oh, I can. Can I move that? Move! Move your gloves. How'd I do that? That's what I want to know. You think one of these right here? Oh, maybe the dumpster. Go to the dumpster. Damn it. How, do, how do I do that? Oh, here's some blood. That might be it. Come on now. I'm going to get negative 200. Because I can't find it. Okay, so I'm back. I figured it search out. Search the garbage? Hey, nothing I like better than digging through a mound of chicken heads and feathers. Thanks for interrupting me, Curtis. But I had to circle. Kind of like how I found that uh, curd blade under a box. I had to circle the garbage can. And apparently there's just a corpse of a hen down here. There it is. But it fell with my negative 15. Huh. What'd you find? It's the carcass of a whole rooster. It's a big one, too. Why do you suppose they just throw it away? Maybe it died of diphtheria. Nah, it's all cut up. It lost the f I'm telling you, dude. Wait, let me see that blade again. I know what this is. It's a gaff. They attach these to the claws of... Hey, Mr. Huang! I think you've got some explaining to do. Can I wait? I got a lot of customers right now. We can talk out there if you'd rather. I'm sure they'll be interested to hear about how you're running a cockfighting ring. Ah, cockfighting, of course. Is that, uh, kosher? What do you think, Ray? We got enough to arrest this guy? Yeah, I say we cuff him for the murder of Neil Jensen. Murder? Now wait a minute, detectives. Hold everything. Sure, it all hangs together. Jensen owed a gambling debt to Mr. Huang here, and when Jensen can't pay up, Huang starts eyeing his Rolex. Neil, thanks for ten wonderful years. Ellie. You gotta believe me, I didn't kill him. Then who did? Ricardo Guzman, I think. Where can we find him? He doesn't have a fixed address. Moves around from couch to couch. Take this guy in. Wait, I got his cell number. What luck. I'm glad you know how to follow instructions, Mr. Huang, because we've got a little job for you. <laughs> Look at that. I got no bonuses. <laughs> I sucked. I had 30 guesses. Target guess is 14. <coughs> well, look at that. My theory was kind of right. There was obviously a cockfighting ring. I mean, I figured, you know, why would you involve roosters and stuff if it's not uh, revolving the storyline around a cockfighting ring? It would make sense. So, although the dude himself probably didn't kill him. But let's go on. I got time for one more. Okay, Wang, you remember what we told you, and this ought to go down quick and painless. He's gonna kill me, you know, when he finds out I'm working with the police. By that time, he'll be in custody. That is, as long as you play it cool and take your cues from us. Yeah? Ricardo, it's Wang. Hey, what's the matter, man? You sound funny. Oh. <laughs> Say the cops questioned you and left. Yeah, because he, he sounds like a little off. 
He shouldn't say peachy, because that's going to give it off. Say the cops questioned you and left. Cops had me worked up, but they're gone. The cops, they worked me over pretty hard. But you didn't say nothing. No, I held firm. They're gone now. Yeah, so you, you get... It's probably they talk. find anything? So you gotta, like... The dude already knew something was up. You don't be like, I'll oh, do everything's fine, man. Then he's gonna throw him like, something's up, and he can't tell me. Uh... Shouldn't be overconfident. Just be casual with it. Just be casual with it. Not enough to arrest you. Enough to make them suspicious. But not enough to get you in trouble, I think. Man. Good job. So what am I supposed to do, man? We got another fight coming Tuesday. You know I can't cancel it. I'm on the hook to Menendez. Five grand, man, and I'm broke. Don't be nervous. Suggest a new, better location. That's my... Hold the fight in a new location. Better not hold the fight at the shop. Too risky. You gotta find a new location. Where, man? I don't know nobody with that kind of space. Tell them you do. I do? My cousin Lou runs a body shop in Park Slope. Let me talk to him. See, si, you're a pal, man. Man, look at that. Now, tell him you'll meet him later. Let's meet up later once everything's squared away. Where? Push him to tell. No. I suggest any drug. You can talk about it. You can meet him at the shop. Suggest a neutral location. I could say the shop though. Let's go neutral. Somewhere by Pulaski Bridge, 6 p.m. Uh, that street corner. Over by the bodega and the pharmacy. On 21st by Pulaski Bridge. Around 6? See, si, sounds like a plan. See you there. You've done good, Mr. Wang. We'll take it from here. Thank you, Mr. Wang. That's going to do it for today. Um, the next episode, we're actually going to go see what's up with uh, Gasman. Gasman, is that his name? I think it's Gasman. And we're probably going to arrest him, you know, and interview him as well. So, Mr. Wang, we arrested him today, and he was very cooperative. So, thank you. Thank you, Huang, for being cooperative and helping us get closer to the man that killed Neil. So, thank you for watching. You know, I'm very grateful for that. And... I'll see you in the next episode when, like I said, we're going to see what's going on with Gasman and maybe figure out what exactly happened to Neil Johnson. I think it's his name, right? It's either Jackson or Johnson. I'm not sure. But have a wonderful day and have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.